right one more videos and i can sleep very well after this so i got a message from my facebook account one of our friends is crying so much he said that hi nelka i'm following your youtube and your web oh it's not published yet or it's not finished yet but i still don't know how to calculate lighting in dialogues evo as a regular dialogues how can make another calculation surface because my workplace is not all room okay so how can propose 300 lux or another energy instead of 500 lux as i know in dialogues evo 500 is the default i don't know how to change it and so i said don't cry <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for you, Ngok Nguyen, I will teach you how to do that. First, your first question is how to change the 500, 500 lux default of Dialux Evo. I created one room here, and this room has different functions, and um, I'm sure it has also different light, lighting calculation surfaces, supposed to be, yeah. So, we will create different lighting cal calculations on this room also you will change it or we will change the uh, lux requirement for this one so you should be in the construction tab and then go to the one two three four tabs you should be in the assessment zone oh my god i'm using the lux evo 2 right now because my computer crashed and then i try to install and then all my softwares are gone and then i try to install the evo 6 and the evo 6 is not installing because and i got this message so if anybody can help me how to install the the, the new deluxe evo 6.1 please also help me i also need some help okay so if anybody can help me please um send me an email please 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 because right now i'm using evo 2 because I can find the installer, the previous installers like Evo 4 and 5. I only have Evo 2. So, yeah. Okay. So, let's go back to you now. Ngok Kuyen. And then, um, yeah, you should be in the assessment zone like um, this one. You can read it here. Assessment zone. So, it's 2, 4 at the fifth tab. Maybe in uh, Dialux Evo 6.1. I don't know. I forgot. Okay, then once you selected it, your rooms will become yellow. And then once you click it, it means you selected it, uh, it becomes blue or purple blue. If you have other rooms beside this room, you, you can see that some rooms are yellow. The blue means that this is the one you selected. So now once you selected it, you can see here in this um, options, pull down menu that you can change your rooms into something else the default of dialux evo is office so you can change it into maybe sanita uh restroom like yeah restroom or maybe you can change it into <clears throat> like educational buildings which is for example you have um, classroom or maybe you can change it to something else like control rooms and then you can change it switchboard or plant rooms. So it depends on you. Once you selected this one, you can select, for example, um, conference or meeting room. Yeah. And then you can see in the details, this tab, click this tab and you will see that 500 lux is the default as, as what you observe. Yeah, it is 500 lux. But of course, you can change it. So if you want to change it into 300, then you may change it into 300. Maybe the sur surrounding areas becomes 200 and the background maybe say 75. But uh, depends on you. And then say you can also change the uniformity, overall uniformity here. If it's 0 0.6 and if you want to make it 0 0.8, then you can do it if you're really tough for uniformity. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can do, you can change a lot of things here. And then just enter and then click somewhere and then yeah it's changed now so now you know where to change that um 500 lux um, value so it's in the assessment zone okay don't forget that and then if you want to add more calculation surfaces for example because this one the default of this one i will show you again in the assessment zone. this yellow is the 
calculation surface. You can see that the calculation surface height is there. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I'm using two. I don't know here now. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the plan view and uh, in the assessment zone and click this one again. And you can see it here. Yeah, see this is 0.8. If you want to make it zero, just do it. Make it zero. And if you want to offset it in your wall, or oh, let's go into the 3D so you'll, you will see it. And then if you want to offset this one into wall, like maybe 0.5, yeah, see? You see the difference now? It's now offset to the wall. So, yeah, you can change these uh, parameters. All right. So, aside from that, you created a um, zero calculation surface. And then you want to add, for example, one calculation surface again on the table. Either you click this one as, I don't know if it's also possible in two. Okay. Okay place calculation um, yeah because in Evo 6.1 you can click um, you can click this surface and say this is the calculation surface but right now it's yeah it's not here because it's old version anyways but you can do it manually also don't worry about that so if it's the, if this is table you can create another calculation surface on this table and you will say this is, um, yeah, you can say this is calculation surface for office. You can type it, then enter, and then the positioning will be, since um, most of the tables, office tables, is 0 0.76 meters height, so you can just make it uh, 0 0.8, um, let's say 0 0.8. All right, let's make it 0 0.76 to make it precise. Okay. And then, yeah, rotation, just leave it. And then the calculation parameters, you can select as direct, uh, sorry, horizontal, perpendicular, or whatever. So, yeah, you can do it direct or perpendicular. You can also select two or, yeah, you can also select vertical. And then you can also edit the points here if you like. So you can change it into, for example, distance. Distance of the points would be, for example, 0.1 by 0.1 and then and then you will see that the points are now getting closer to each other and then for example in the aisle if you want to add another calculation surface on the aisle a separate one then you just create a calculation surface like this and make sure you selected this one the polygon side instead of rectangular and then if you made a mistake like this one just click this one and right click and edit polygon and then just edit, edit like that and then once again the positioning you can say this is um aisle or corridor and then the positioning would be in the zero yes and then calculation parameters yes horizontal and then the rest, if you want to edit again the distance or the spacing of the points, you can do so. Let's say if you want to make it point two by point two, then yes, you can do it. Okay, so what else? Ah, okay, because I created a... Yeah, can we make it a little higher? Because you cannot see it because I created a, a path, a carpet walk. So let's make it point one. There you go. Yes, so for example, another you want a vertical and you want to, because you are so, yeah, you're so obsessed with the vertical and you want to see the calculation uh, value on these shelves, then you can also do that. You can create um, another calculation surface and then make it, you say vertical. And then again, of course, you can select the perpendicular then the vertical illuminance and then and 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 click the horizontal so you can focus on the vertical and then you say the rotation is 90 yeah let's see what happened when I change it to 90 I never try this one <laughs> or we can uh, okay let's do and check the distance for now for the points it's 0 0.5 by 0.5 and maybe actually you can also rotate it if you like okay let's go to the elevation I think it's much better to re rotate it like this yeah and then of course you can move it 
yep like this and then you can edit it again so you now have a vertical illumination just make sure yeah look make sure this one is facing on the other side because the light is coming from here so rotate it or otherwise edit it in the yeah the numbering parameters so now you have calculation surface for vertical here and then horizontal here and then the zero horizontal here and if you want to add more in your dining table and also in the pantry or kitchen area you can also do that so when you do the when you run a calculation you have a general calculation for the overall which is in the zero and then you also have for the table for the vertical and for this aisle so that's it i hope you learned something about it i think did i answer all your questions now yeah how can i propose yes okay yes so yeah so if you have more questions uh, yen just uh, let me know and i will try to answer you as soon as possible okay good night